standard corporation, which you and I might think of as, um, you know, the big corporations that we read about in the paper or things like that, the standard corporation, they are um, set up in a formal manner. Uh, they are separate legal entities, which means that they can enter into contracts on their own. It's the con it's, they are um, an entity such that they are not dependent upon who the employees are, who the owners are, things like that. It's, it's uh, perpetual. I've heard them described as legal persons. Exactly, exactly. They can file suit, be sued, enter into contracts, file tax returns, all that in their own name. And even though a, a C corporation or a full corporation does have the most protection in the sense that it is its own legal entity and can be sued, whereas everybody else who is an owner in the corporation is separated from it, mm -hmm. I understand that the full corporation does uh, have some problems in terms of taxes. A corporation is taxed based on its own income. It's, they call it double taxation, okay. actually. The earnings of the corporation are taxed as if it's the earnings of an individual entity. Okay. Uh, then when it pays its employees or anything, those employers are also taxed on their earnings as individual entities. Is that so, what you... Uh, so, so if I were, say, a one or two person company and I, had a, and I created a corporation, it wouldn't really benefit me tax-wise to do that because I'd be paying two types of taxes. That is most likely the case. That is okay. most likely the so case. So in, in, in your talking to a p potential business person, how would you lead them along the decision path to what type of entity to, what, what types of questions you would suggest they ask? Uh, first of all, you'd want to know what their expectations and goals were for the business. Is it something that they want um, to last for a long time, a short time? Do they anticipate hiring employees? Do they anticipate it uh, involving other members of their family? What geographic area do they want to be in? Um, what kind of personal assets do they have that they might want to protect? There's quite a few you know, questions that will help determine what the best protections are, what the formality requirements um, might or might not be appropriate for a given situation. Um, if it is a smaller, you know, you just want to be uh, buying groceries for people who need assistance, you might not want the full formality that would be required as you move along the spectrum we just discussed. Um, but if you have things that you want to protect, you might want a, a little more formality to ensure that you know what's going to be responsible for your debts and liabilities. Mm -hmm. So it seems to me based